Hello, and Randy here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Nowhere, Kansas. And this, uh, we'll call this take two at attempting to uh, pick up uh, cotton bales. Do you have one? Uh, yeah, so we, we had some uh, technical uh, difficulties here since last episode, I guess you could say. As you can see, uh, we do have some bales loaded on here, no doubt about that. However, the uh, the vehicles, at least I think that's what the problem here is, everyone. Uh, the vehicles we're using to pull these trailers, I don't know if they just can't handle it or course play is derpy. I mean, it's like, what what's just going on here? Uh, I, I don't know. I think they're just too heavy for it, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but yes, I, I started having problems. Uh, the first truck there, it got to like, I don't know, the first or second round there. Had maybe, I don't know basically one level's worth of bales on it, and it literally went and drove straight to the end point and said it was finished. I'm like, what? Was that? what? How did it finish that quickly? Actually, all three of these, all three of these, or I don't know, anyway, three of them were all sitting at the finish point saying they were done. I'm like, how did you finish that quick? That was like maybe an hour, and the course was supposed to take, well, like five or six hours to finish. It's like I went, you know, looked at the map. It's like, okay, the bales are still here yet, so... Apparently, we didn't do a very good job. So, anyway, we're going to try this here again. Well, we got, hopefully, a much, much better option here this time around. Yes, we got a John Deere 8400R quad track version, I guess you could say. Uh, 8RX knockoff here for this uh, moment, I guess uh, we call it that as well. So, anyway, we're going to get the same course set up, same, set up the same thing we did uh, last episode. This shouldn't take uh, too long there, hopefully. Oh, you know what? I probably need to set this again, don't I? That's right. Okay. And then we'll load up, uh, let's see, it's here to, uh, yeah, that one, right? And four to the left. And let's see, I wonder if I, uh, we'll, we'll see once. I'm not sure if I'm going to turn that off with this one here or not. Uh, the tractor, I don't know if that'd be different than the uh, truck or not. Uh, again, if you remember there from last time, I went, oh, what, I should probably make sure these are actually on too. I think they would be, yeah, they are on. Uh, just go back to the nearest waypoint here then. That'll work. So, yeah, we'll get them back going here with tractors this time. Uh, and I was looking at it. It's like, oh, maybe I should have thrown uh, the 9RXs on it. But uh, we'll see what's how the 8400R here does with these trailers. I mean, the truck we used last time handled the trailers no problem. Uh, I guess the in-game trucks here just uh, can't quite handle that for some reason. Apparently, uh, these bales must add weight to the trailer. I find that hard to believe. Because if they are adding weight, everyone, they're going to be adding a lot of weight. But, um, I don't know. They must be adding weight, I guess. Okay, you'll be three to the left. And first waypoint, drive the course. Yeah, we'll grab another tractor, grab these trailers. I'm going to have to probably go out and looks like rescue those uh, three that are floundering out in the field wildly there. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to make it back. I told them to go back to the first waypoint, but uh, like I said, it doesn't look like that's happening. So, might have to go on a rescue mission here in a few moments. Okay, load up. Oh, wait, nope, nope. Change this here first, then load up the course. I didn't check and make sure that other trailer was on, but uh, if first one was, I'm going to assume that one was. Probably a bad assumption. Let's check. Uh, yeah, that one's on. Okay. First waypoint. Drive the course. So yeah, I guess those uh, those trucks, everyone, were not a uh, good choice. Not a good choice here at all. Uh, again, I got rid of the whoa. The, yeah, these eight R's. They're a little tippy. Um, I got rid of the uh, trucks I was using last time, everyone, because again, they're just really, really laggy. As is uh, very typical, it seems like, with most truck mods. Uh, most are... Um, don't know that I want to say not done well. Because uh, most of them are... They're, they're done well. It's just they're way, way over... Over the top as far as, like, game goes. They're, they're, they're modeled too good for games. That they're not designed to be in a game like this. So, uh, that's the problem with them. Okay, and first waypoint, drive the course. And that's one reason you probably don't see me using trucks a whole lot. Because, again, like I said, most of them are not done very well. Uh, again, I hate to say the word not done very well because they, they are done well. Some of them, anyway. Maybe not all of them, but uh, and some of them look really nice. But uh, there again, uh, they're not optimized for gaming. 
And for anyone that understands anything about that, uh, you probably know exactly what I mean by that. So, nope. Might have, might have dented that one. Took out the headlight and the uh, taillight on the other one. Oh, well, we're just going to sell them anyway. Uh, speaking of selling, I was hoping to be selling cotton bales uh, this episode, but uh, yeah, apparently that's not going to happen here. We're going to have to get the cotton bales uh, picked up here, so... Right to the number that time. Wow. Okay, and you're going to be one to the right. Drive the course. Okay, hopefully that'll get the uh, job done here this time. And then, like I said, I'm, apparently I'm going to have to go uh, rescue those other ones. Actually, uh, those two are slowly making their way here, aren't they? How about this one over here? That one, yeah, that one I don't think is making it at all. That one's just, like, hopeless. So let's go, let's go out rescue mission here with this one. Let's see, I guess we're heading about the right direction, it looks like. We'll maybe have to uh, check that a couple more times as we're going across the uh, field here. And then hopefully by that time we'll have the other two that are kind of slowly making their way over here uh, to the start point. Hopefully real close to it anyway. And like I was saying, hopefully those go much, much better with the 8Rs here. Uh, again, the, the trucks handled it just fine last time. At least it seemed like they did. So we'll uh, hopefully find out here. Yeah, I was looking at how badly the truck was struggling. Like, ooh, maybe I should have gone 9RX here. But uh, I mean, we do have a couple of 9RXs. Actually, you know what? There's a couple of 9RXs that aren't too far away. They're actually right down in the field there. I forgot about that. It's like, oh, boy, I don't really want to have to get a bunch of 9RXs over here. Now, not that that would be uh, such a problem, right? You know, getting 9RXs, but... Uh, have to drive them all the way up to the field when I can just get a couple of these. Oh, yeah, there's there's that truck. Yeah, he's doing some weird turn maneuvers. I'm not sure if that's just because of weight, because, again, you know, if you guess if you look at it, it looks like his front tires might be off the ground. Yeah, they're definitely off the ground there. It looks like Corsa is just being uh, stupid with it at this point, but oh well. Uh, anyway, we'll uh, read a few uh, comments here in a moment. Uh, Caden was saying you should get a 9R with triples. A 9R with triples. And pray tell what would I do with a 9R with triples? I guess I could use it to pull the cotton. Uh, no, that would not be good. No, we definitely wouldn't want, not want to be pulling uh, these cotton trailers with, 9R, uh, with a 9R with triples. Uh, maybe singles, heaven forbid. No, no, that's not definitely out of the question. No way we're pulling that with singles. So not sure what I would do with a 9R. Uh, Jacob's saying, hey, can you please get a link to the page, the MC? Um, hmm, not sure what page he's talking about, but okay. Uh, Patty was saying, awesome, thank you very much for that. Brennan was saying, hi. And Tech was saying, yes. Hmm, yes, okay. Very descriptive. Um... Uh, the Dairy Man saying, could you do a course play tutorial for balling, bailing, oh, bailing and collecting bales. Ah, bailing and uh, collecting. Yeah, speaking of uh, collecting bales, um, I understand it sounds like course play does have some uh, support for that. Uh, I'm not sure about support for, uh, in this scenario here, like uh, collecting these type of bales uh, with this trailer. I don't know if it just works with in-game ones. Now, uh, bailing is fairly straightforward field work mode. Uh, collecting bales, that might be a whole other uh, topic I'm not entirely sure on. And it looks like we're heading roughly the right direction here. Uh, Farm K was saying, could you possibly use an Alice Chalmers uh, 180 200 series? Um, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> no, not a prayer on this map. Maybe uh, whatever we're going to do for the next map, maybe, but uh, definitely not on this one. Uh, again, I, I point you folks to how long we've been traveling here just to get to the uh, 
truck that is about, uh, well, I guess a little beyond halfway on the field here. And speaking of equipment, by the way, since last episode, I did sell all but one of the cotton harvesters. I did keep one yet, just, you know, for uh, good old times' sake, I guess you could say. So we do have one harvester. And uh, again, just to reiterate, have one, I do not plan on uh, doing another season on this map here once we're done with the soybean field. That the plan is to be finished with this map here at that point. So soybean field, and then uh, we're going to uh, wrap it up. Speaking of wrapping up, that reminds me I should probably start uh, looking for a new map here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, clearly, I'm going to have to... Uh, we need to quick get over here and stop these here a minute. Come on, stop. Uh, that's enough of the save. We don't need to be doing that right now. Come on, you stupid game, really. Oh, my goodness. No, no. Okay, good. Okay, that one has already stopped. It's these I'm going to have to worry about. Okay, just need to get to them as quick as possible here. Okay, so apparently that's a problem with them as well. Good to note. Uh, let's see if you'll just uh, start back up. So I'm going to have to turn off the uh, turn on field. I wonder if that's a problem with the trailer then, or uh, who knows. Not sure. Anyway, to fix that, we need to uh, go and turn all that off, and that should fix the problem. Not sure why that's a problem, but... And I was thinking maybe, you know, then now that I'm running a tractor, I would have thought maybe a tractor would be different, but apparently not. So, good to know. Today we uh, today we learned. Make sure you turn that uh, turn those off when you're loading up uh, cotton bales with, uh, at least with this trailer anyway. I, I don't know if that does it for other trailers or not, but. Nope, oh, not what I want. Why are you not letting me change that? Okay, whatever, fine. Stop. Um, okay, I don't know why he's not letting me change it. Hmm, odd. Well, we'll leave it on, I guess. Hopefully that doesn't mess him up. And one last uh, one here. Okay, there we go. Uh, really? Okay, fine course play. Uh, anyway, I was almost to uh, the truck here. Uh, oh, he's still doing circles yet. <laughs> okay, I didn't get to that one and stop him, did I? Yeah, well. You can see this one has uh, quite a few uh, bales on it. He's been, uh, I think, been wandering out on the field for a while. Now, hopefully that's not going to cause us any problem. He's picked up more bales than what he should. Afraid it probably will, but uh, I guess we'll see once here. Yeah, something's definitely like pitching the truck around like that. I'm not sure if that's the the truck's fault there or what, but and uh, what makes me wonder about if this is a mass related. Uh, if it's mass related, I would think this many cotton bales on any trailer would cause a problem, but I don't know. I'm not sure on that. Uh, anyway, we'll get this one uh, set up here. 12 meters. Let's make him all the way to the right here. I need to load up the course here first. We'll put you four to the right. Oh, and make sure we turn that off. Yes, make sure we turn that off. And not that one. Let's do that one. You're in the on position. Good. First waypoint. Should be good to go. Drive course. And then that, he should make his way all the way over here. Oh, it looks like this one has almost made it. Yeah, see, what's, uh, what's causing us just to uh, pivot around like that's kind of weird. Oh, well, whatever. Get you off the field here as well. Go grab another uh, tra tractor. And we might have to go uh, rescue that one last one here. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see once.
Oh, completely missed that hitch. Okay, let's uh, try that again. There we go. Okay, field work mode. Let's crank that up to 3 meters, thir uh, 12 meters, from 3 meters to 12. Load up the course and switch you to 2 to the right. First waypoint. Oh, oh, and uh, don't forget, turn that off. Double check, make sure it's on. Yep, it is. First waypoint, drive course. Okay, let's go uh, rescue that one last one here moment then. And that will be all the trailers back on the field running here. And hopefully next episode, everyone, will hopefully come back and sell the bales, hopefully. Um, I guess it's going to take us a little bit longer to get down to the sell point here with the tractors, but... In fact, we might actually have to work on that next episode. We'll see once here. Because, yeah, otherwise I'm probably not going to have time between this episode and the next episode to drive these down to the shop or to the sell point. We'll have to see once here. So that actually might be next episode, getting the uh, equipment down to the uh, sell point here, because I'll probably leave the game up and run and let course play do its thing. But uh, yeah, but like I said, by the time uh, tomorrow rolls around here. Okay, yeah, there's that, uh, there's that truck just uh, fish tailing around over there. Oh, whoa, okay, stop. Just, uh, yeah, just, uh, disconnect you. Get the tractor connected here. And we'll just, uh, sell the truck, by the way, so I'm not gonna worry about getting them off the field. The dealer can just, uh, come pick their, uh, truck up right from the field here. How about that? Okay, field work mode, 12 meters. There we go. Load up the course. And we need to be on three to the right. Turn off that. Uh, first waypoint drive the course. Okay, hopefully we got that all going here now and hopefully that will work We got a couple of cotton bales sitting here yet a little bit uh, suspicious about that I guess we'll have to keep an eye on that. Oh, that's right I gotta remember too. We do have some uh, pretty serious overlap on course play here too on this uh, part of the course I was uh, starting to wonder, it's like, I wonder if there's something wrong with the course in general, because it seems like uh, course play got to a point, it's like, okay, why is it going to the stop point rather than going up and down? But uh, I don't know if it was just because it couldn't make the turns it was going to the stop point, or just course play was being, doing something it shouldn't have been. I'm not sure on that yet. I guess we'll find out. And where are those trucks? Am I, uh, am I missing something here? There's those trucks. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Sell that one. I don't know why it's taking so long to sell in the shop here. That's a little bit annoying. Yep. Okay. Sold. Yeah. Hurry up. Come on. Come on, game. What's taking so long? Let's go. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's kind of lagging. I did this for the cotton harvester as well. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe the uh, there's a lot of equipment. That could be. Could be. There, there's just a couple pieces of equipment in this map here yet. Not near as much as there used to be, mind you, but uh, there is still quite a bit here. Uh, anyway, we'll read a few uh, comments here again. Uh, Biden, Bryden. Bryden was saying hello. Uh, another great video. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Maconso, I think I might have read this one here uh, last episode, but Maconso replied to it here as well. Uh, hmm, can't have more than 64 harvesters on one course, eh? Oh, that, no, let's, uh, let's not sell that. And uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to think I maintain that... Uh, claim there. I don't believe you can have more than uh, 64 harvesters on one course, unless you go with a smaller harvester. You can do that. Or you just, like, throw a whole bunch more on it just for the fun of it, so they're, like, overlapping and stuff like that. You can do that as well, but uh, again, uh, 
Uh, the way that course is set up, no, I don't think you could have more than 64 on it. You're at the limits of what course play will allow you to do. Uh, but yeah, again, uh, my console claims somehow he's going to run more, I guess, from the sounds. At least that seems to be what he's uh, claiming. I'm not sure how he's going to attempt that because, uh, again, like I said, I'm pretty much at the uh, course play limits there. Uh, if you're not familiar, course play limits you to eight vehicles. And you're like, well, wait a minute, you're running 64. Yep, I'm running 64 of them, um, which is more than eight, obviously. Uh, what I'm doing, though, is I'm using offsets within those eights there to run eight harvesters per eight. Hopefully that uh, makes sense for those who follow along in the math there from when we uh, set that up. And then, uh, of course, but also, unfortunately, has a limit of 50 meters. So, yeah, you, you're kind of limited two ways. Uh, you're limited to 50 meters wide. Now, I don't know if you maybe... I don't know what... Uh, yeah, I suppose you could, like, maybe use an implement to get a wider one. You could... Well, I don't know if that would work, though. That might get messy. That would get messy. But, yeah, anyway... Uh, the widest distance you can set in course play is 50 meters. So, of course, I wouldn't do the math. 8 times 6 meters is what? 48? So, yes, uh, 48 meter wide course is what I ran. Uh, times 8 there, of course. So, yep, I, I don't believe, um, unless my console does, I don't know what my console will do. That's a good question. I guess you folks will have to come up with some theories on that, too, or we'll have to wait and see what my console is going to do, because, uh, again... I don't believe you can uh, run more than uh, 64 without, uh, again, like I said, either smaller harvesters, overlap, or uh, not sure what else. What is this one doing? Hmm. Okay, hopefully he's doing what he's supposed to. It just looked a mite suspicious as to, like, what the trucks were doing. What is this one doing? That does not look... That, this looks like what the trucks were doing. Yeah, something is uh, something's not right here, but something's not right at all. This, uh, this is exactly what the trucks are doing. Which one are you? You're one to the right. You are definitely... You should be, like, right next to this line here somewhere. Okay, so something is not right here. I wonder if I'm going to have to create a new course. Ah, uh, that would suck, everyone. I should have kept the old course I had because that one worked. This one here apparently is not working or something. Okay, well, we might have a problem yet. We'll see once here, everyone. We might just have a problem. I was hoping the uh, the problem there was just the, the trucks just couldn't make the turn or something, and they were being stupid, and uh, it's like, okay, that's maybe the problem. But looking at what this uh, tractor's doing, everyone, I'm thinking we got a more of a problem than I realized here. Apparently, course play is taking a serious stupid pill here again. Looks like he was just randomly driving across the field there. That did not, not look good at all. Uh, let's see, what is this one uh, here doing? Show that. So, yeah, he's, uh, what, which one are you? You are three to the left. Okay, looks like he's probably in the, about the right spot. And he should turn in probably about in here. Yeah, looks like he's turning in about in there somewhere. And if you didn't see our last episode, by the way, Course Black Flames, this is going to take about uh, six hours to uh, finish this here, by the way. So about six hours with eight trucks, or not actually not trucks anymore, tractors. Tractors and uh, trailers here. I guess I replaced the trucks, didn't I? Uh, eight tractors and trailers to pick up these bales. That's uh, going at 14 miles an hour. Yes, I could probably probably uh, speed that up a little bit, everyone. But let's let's face it, course place being derpy enough already. I, I don't know that that's going to be safe. So, see, everyone else seems to be behaving. I'm not sure what was up with that one to the right one, but I don't know if the problem just comes from this uh, part of course play here, what's being derpy. I don't know. Well, looks like everyone's a running here now again. That's good. Oh, and uh, I should note here as well, again, uh, speaking of uh, McConsell's uh, comment there, don't forget to check out uh, Thomas McConsell there as well, see what kind of uh, mischief he's up to. 
Ah, uh, yes, uh, we're definitely talking some serious, uh, serious mischief there. Uh, I guess we'll have to catch, uh, uh, check him out too, see once how he expects to get more than 64 harvesters on one course. Uh, again, like I said, you can obviously throw more on it, but uh, they, they would be pointless. So we'll have to see what's how McConsell thinks he's going to get more on it without uh, like changing the numbers somehow. Or yeah, but we'll have to find out, I guess. I'm curious how McConsell thinks he's going to do it because I, I don't believe it is uh, possible with the way the numbers are. Again, you're limited to 50 meters and you are limited to 8. So you do the math, folks. <laughs> it doesn't work out. It just doesn't work. Quite a load of bales on there already. Oh, and if you're wondering about the uh, gap here, everyone, yeah, there, there's a bit of a gap in between here. Apparently, when I set up the uh, transform locations for where all the bales spawn on the trailer... Eh, I must have missed that layer. Thought I got them all right, but uh, apparently not. So, oops. Okay, everything's looking pretty good there so far. Of course, there's no uh, bales on this uh, first row here. Uh, there's a bale down. I don't know if that's quite, uh, we'll have to see once here, I guess. Kind of keeping an eye on it. We'll have to see once, of course, but it's going to get all the bales here or not. Uh, again, with these trailers, the pickup width is about the width of the trailer on either side. So there's not very much of an overlap on these, unfortunately. But again, like I said, it worked, uh, worked pretty good there last time. Uh, running a 12 meter course with eight it was trucks then. Maybe I should get the trucks back out since uh, they did at least get the job done last time. We'll, we'll see. Let's hopefully the uh, hopefully the eight R's will do it. I don't know why they won't. Might not be quite as uh, quick as driving the trucks, but although there again on the uh, trucks, I did limit them to uh, four. Uh, I just left the limit at 14 miles an hour as well. So and then uh, of course for some reason it still said it took it 24 hours. I'm not sure what's up with that, but whatever. see once here. I'm curious how you got this far this quick. That seems a little quick. Three to the left, huh? Where is four to the left? Oh, is four to the left up here? What are you? You don't look like you're doing something you should be doing. You are two to the left. Okay. Something is something's definitely wrong with this course here, everyone. We got tractors that are just like driving off randomly. Why is that? I don't like that. Don't like that at all. I might just have to uh, see if I can regenerate a new course here, because, yeah, now that's two to the left. That is taken off for no good reason. I'm thinking he needs to start back up over here, I'm thinking. That one looks a little suspicious there as well, don't it? Okay. Very, very interesting. Nearest waypoint, you drive the course. Hopefully that's about the right spot. Yeah, you are, you're doing something stupid as well. Okay, really? Come on, course play. One to the left, huh? Hmm. Odd. Okay, nearest waypoint. I think it's in here somewhere, right? Uh, settings, view course. So oh, maybe I should have drove in a little closer yet. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna drive a little closer here yet. And hopefully this is the right line. I don't actually need to be. I actually, know I wonder. Do I need to be over one more yet? I bet I do. Because the lines are overlapping over here. Yeah, I'm a betting everyone I need to be on this line. Okay, so I might have that one over there over one too far. I guess we'll find out. Because the uh, first two lines on this course are pretty much overlapping them each other right next to uh, right next to the start line there. In fact, you can probably see them over there. Uh, again, it's just uh, something course play hasn't uh, really fixed good yet, you know. Uh, one to the left, huh? You're one to the left? 
I guess that looks like about right, maybe. Should be over about six meters or so. Okay, so note to self, I'm going to have to keep an eye on course play here, because something, uh, something is definitely not right. And I'm wondering if it's got something to do with this overlapping, well, almost overlapping line here, and they make the turn from here, and just, yeah, I don't know. Weird. Oh, you know what? I wonder. I bet you a bunch of these bales, everyone. I was like, where did all these bales come from? They shouldn't have picked up that. I bet you they picked up a whole, yeah. They picked up a whole bunch of the bales here at the end of this field, didn't they? Because, yeah, you remember, there used to be like two bales for every harvester, almost. Not quite. But, uh, yeah, so that's where they picked up a bunch of bales. Because, like I said, a couple of the, um, just, a couple of the trucks just drove over. At least I presume they drove over to the stop point here and thought they were finished and uh, yeah, obviously you can see by the field they were not finished so weird okay well anyway everyone looking at the time looks like it's time to wrap it up here for this episode so i'm going to keep uh, working with derpy course play here hopefully by next episode we get these uh picked up that would be kind of nice if not uh i don't know we're going to have to scrap our current plans and come up with a new one maybe break the trucks back out uh Create a brand new uh, course play course and uh, see once what happens. Like this is a brand new course play course, so I wonder if something we got an error message at all. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, attempt to perform our uh, arithmetic. Uh, yes. So I'm betting. Uh, like I said, I bet we have a problem up here with the course play course. That's got to be what it is. That's where that's coming from. Got to be. Uh, so anyway. Uh, again, everyone, like I said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and uh, subscribe for more. Hopefully, we'll come back next episode to sell some uh, cotton bales. Uh, and uh, till next time.